if there was a aspiring trader out there that wanted to be a future market wizard, I know there won't be any other books, but um, well, how would you advise them? How, what would your advice be to somebody? Is it somebody who has trading experience already or? Somebody fresh, just looking to get into the markets. Okay. So if you're looking to get into the markets, first realize that you really don't know anything and that your initial initial ideas are likely to be wrong and your initial training is likely to be unsuccessful. Uh, so having that framework is don't expect to go in and, you know, although there are a couple of people in the books who were successful from the beginning, they are the exceptions. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say to begin with is you just, first of all, read different, try reading different books about markets. Uh, it could be, could be books like mine, which are more about, you know, general principles and stuff like that, as opposed to a, a specific methodology, or it could be books where people are kind of showing some sorts of methodologies. It doesn't make a difference, but you got to kind of discover what, what appeals to you, what feels right. And then when you got that, take that to the, to the, to the market and on paper initially, even though it's not the same, but you always start on paper because, you know, you don't know enough to trade real money yet. Try to see, okay, make paper trade. You know, use whatever approach you've developed, whatever rules you develop, do your trades, see how they work. If they start, and by the way, nowadays, of course, you can, different brokerage, lots of brokerage firms offer, you know, uh, accounts where you're not trading real money. And that's probably the easiest way to do it. So, but see how that goes. And if you seem to be making money that way, real money is very different and motions come into play and all that. But if you can't make money on paper, there's certainly no reason to believe you can make it real. So once you get to the point where you think you've got an approach and it seems to be working to some extent, then you can try to with real money and start small. Uh, one piece of advice I give people is uh, take an amount of money that you can afford to lose. And that's what you use to open the account. And don't take, don't take all your savings and open an account because you're liable to blow it all and not have a second chance. You always want to make sure that you have a second, third, fourth, fifth chance because, you know, as, as long as you have chips, you can continue to play. But once you blow all your chips, it's gone. So always start with a small amount. One thing I've always done, and I'm no market wizard, I emphasize that, but one thing I've done in my life that I think has been beneficial to me is every time, and I, like I said, I'm not a trader by, by, by profession, but I trade, you know, I've traded on and off. But whenever I, I say, okay, now I'm going to start trading, if I haven't been trading, I always will have a, a relatively small amount of money that if I lose it, it's not a big deal. And uh, if I lose it, then, uh, okay, I go away and I'll come back next time in a few months when I feel up to it or inclined. Uh, and if it, if, it, if it starts going my way, you know, have a cutout point to break even. So in that way, even when I'm wrong, even when I lose, it's never a big amount and I can always come back. So I think that's a good approach in general is, is to use that approach. Never risk too much. And if you blow that, you know, what you're doing ain't working. It ain't working now for sure. And just take a break and mm. rethink things. Go back to the drawing board. Come back when you feel properly enthused. So that's another thing that we we'll do. And also, I guess, recognize that whatever approach you start out with may will probably not be what you end up with. Uh, thing, you know, you'll find that things that you thought were right were wrong and you'll find better ways of doing things. And sort of what your own approach is, allow it to evolve. Um, and it may take many years before you get to the point where, you, oh, okay, this is what I'm comfortable doing. Mm. A lot of wise words. Thank you for walking us through your thoughts.